It's, uh, it's practice day today and it is a disaster. We just have no idea what the track's gonna be like because first day was beautiful, second day was rainy, third day was beautiful, and now. How's filming been though? Filming has been absolutely hypnotic, man. That's the best <laughs> word I can think of. You look at all the people who are watching and everyone's just like. Now there's like big step and big holes now yeah. starting and it just like almost break my Where are every we time right? and it's just like oh I go so deep all the time. So I don't know, I need more support but I don't know. I don't wanna lose the nice feeling on the at the beginning so I don't know which way I should go. You wanna try fun. a little bit of pressure first and then if that doesn't work we add a Basic. Yeah, so you will first go with it. It's easy and quick and that will tell you. And I won't good. lose that nice. Not too much. Yeah, okay. Now it should be 68. Guessing it's a little sloppy out there. Yeah, but it's actually super fun. Really? Yeah, honestly, it's super fun to ride. I'm having fun. It's just, yeah. And it's not cold when you ride, so it's fine. But it's going to be a mess to... <laughs> To wash everything, that's the <laughs> shitty bath, but yeah, <laughs> a bit cold. <laughs> but everything it's easier, I feel like. They're saying that like most of the mud from the it's steep is away. gone. Yeah, so you have kind of like hard brown and the roots aren't bad, like they are all in the right way and not big and everywhere where there were like huge holes, they put like huge rocks. So it doesn't make a hole. So it's honestly it's not so good. So it'll be better to race in mud. It's not good. Yeah, I wish it would rain until Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit slower too, you don't need mud to go queen. so fast and take so much race. <laughs> Just the stem section, the beginning it's a bit weird. Like the, now there is no ruts on the outside and they put a pole in the middle and either you hit the pole big time or you just like eh, or you go outside and you go Bleh. So I hope the guy's gonna make a nice rut this afternoon. That was <laughs> fine. Because <laughs> right now group B sets. <laughs> you went up to? 71. I do one Thank you. Welcome. we we'll see you in a bit. Cam was just saying that the the grip's actually quite good in the woods, but the the way it's been done, there's big holes opening up, so good big compressions. So we just firmed up the fork a little bit to deal with that. It's just a question. Um, just trying. I just asked you what you think, what to do. Is there anything? Oh, uh, not suspension wise. Not like offhand. We were doing the same. We were in Fort William. We just opened low speed compression front and rear two clicks to start out and then to stall. gradually probably yeah yeah i agree Is there anything else no just leave it the only ch couple changes we've made so far are going a little stiffer on the forks but yeah oh but i think the fork is quite stiff already cool then, then so leave it. we just leave that and then just wind it in again once you're once. feeling confident yeah all right perfect cool thank you very much see you max see you yeah so the only change we have made a very few changes is slightly firmer on the fork because it sounds like a lot of the mud's washed away the kind of steep bit, so there's more grip. It's not like it was last year, two years ago. Yeah, well, it's just a disaster. So, big holes, firming up front end a little bit, and that's about it. Could you just make sure my shocks, I've never used a, well, an air shock in this before. I thought I'd try it. You just make sure that it's like normal setting. 
And so you weren't at Fort William, right? No, I was filming. Filming a new movie. Is it top secret? Uh, I'll get you a rare bit of picture. So far. Thank you, sir. Have fun. So you, have you slowed it up a little bit? Slowed it up a bit, it's super quick. Okay, yeah. Cool. I'll give it a go. Sick. Cheers, guys. Bye. Ciao. Have fun. He's never run an air shock on that bike. Um, so we just put some base settings in for him. Cool. Yeah, I was a bit struggle in the mud. <laughs> I put a bit more pressure on my fork. Yeah. Mm, don't go too much on the front. And I close a little bit the compression, the low speed. Yeah. Because I'm not sure they have some high speed here. No, it won't really help you everywhere else. And I also close a little bit the compression high and low speed of my shock. To keep my bike faster, I think and to don't go too much into the hole. Is the rear end going in as well or just? Not so much, it's more the front. But I think we need to keep the rear fast for the top section. I mean, it seems fine and that's what we've done with everybody else is just fork pressure and a little bit of compression. And do you think it's, we need to add a token in the fork or not, not really? yet. But if it gets dry, it's probably gonna get fast and then, then we add a spacer for sure. But start pressure and compression first, and then yeah. if that doesn't do it, then we have to go to a spacer. And how many PSI do you think I need to put in more? Probably five, really. Three actually, but yeah. I can go higher. Go, go three, yeah, do, get back into it, do another three even. Yeah. If, it's, if it's good, then it's good. If not, then we do yeah. spacer. Actually, I feel good, so this morning I was good and dropped, so it wasn't bad. <laughs> We will see with the weather. <laughs> Classic Leo Gang. <laughs> I know. It's so nice last week. It was sunny. And, oh, and then... So I'm not sure to ride this afternoon for the time training. I'm not sure that it's really useful. I don't think you're gonna learn anything else. And, and if tomorrow the rain stops, I ride for nothing. Yeah. I mean, do whatever you feel like, but it's not necessary. Yeah. Camille never does it, so. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, you don't need to take every run that you've done enough. Oh, you good? Thank you. <laughs> See you, thank See you. Bye. Had a few people in just talking about certain things, but it sounds like the general consensus is firm up the front to deal with the big, big holes that are developing. And that's really about it. It could also just be that last time was such a junk show that they don't want to break themselves or anything else and you're not there's not a whole lot to learn on a track like this it's just that section of woods the stumps and then into the woods so you can practice all you want but until lines are cut in and you see what it's like closer to race day probably not gonna help you a whole lot At this point, there's there's really no telling what the track and the weather will be like come Saturday for the race, but either way, it's going to be absolutely incredible to watch. It was so amazing watching everyone ride today, despite how gnarly the track conditions were. So for now, we will see you tomorrow for qualifiers in Leo Gang.